Here's the cheat code that I use to reparent myself as someone who has suffered from abandonment, neglect, childhood trauma, and physical abuse. As I said in my other video about reparenting yourself, you have to literally embody for yourself the healthiest version of the mother that you always wanted and needed and father. And the way that you do that is through self-talk as well as action, how you take action as it relates to yourself and your life. Now, when you're doing self-talk, it's really simple. Imagine raising a child and every time the child makes a mistake, you don't call the child stupid or dumb. You lovingly correct them. You lovingly show them the right way. You have compassion for that child. You have patience for that child. When that child is upset or tired, what do you say to the child? Do you want to take a nap? Do you, what do you need right now? Are you hungry, right? It's that nurturing, self-soothing kind of conversations that we need to have with ourselves. You build up their self-worth and their self-value because you know that child is going to grow up and you want that child to believe in themselves, to be confident. You want that child to love themselves and you want that child to have a strong sense of self. So when that child grow up, grows up and goes out into the world, no matter what's going on or what other people are doing, that child knows who they are. And they had that solid foundation from the parents, from you. That's what we're doing when we reparent ourselves. We are reframing our relationship with ourselves, but also we're going back to that foundation and we're filling in all the cracks. And this is something that isn't really taught or talked about in a lot of um, therapy and a lot of spiritual videos and self-healing videos and something that most people don't know. A lot of times we're unconsciously wanting someone to be our mothers, wanting someone to be our fathers. And the proof is this. All those videos where people are single from all walks of life, all sexual orientations, saying, I wish I had this. I want someone that makes me feel like this. I want someone to do this. I want to date someone like this. This is what this person needs to have. A lot of our preferences are influenced and driven subconsciously by our inner need to reconcile what we did not get from our mother or our father. This is really hard to recognize. And the reason why it's hard to recognize is because you have to sit with yourself, go back to what hurt you, go back to what you did not get, and then look and see how has that been showing up in your choices, in your preferences, in your behavior, and take full accountability for that. But once you do that, then you can reparent yourself from a clean slate, from a place of wholeness and understanding, right? Because you already know what you always wanted your mom to say, what you always wanted your mom to do and be to you. We all know what we wanted in a father, whether we had a father or not, what we wished he could have been, what we wished he could have said. Because we know this already, now we just have to do that with ourselves on a daily basis, on a consistent basis, and that heals the wounds deep within us, deep within the inner child, the subconscious mind. But it also puts us into a place of power, of wholeness, where we are literally saying, I am my source of love, of value, of worthiness, of confidence. And I don't look to anyone else to give me what my parents did not give me. I'm going to give it to myself. And that is what the work is about. It doesn't have to be hard. You can start small. And I will end this video by saying this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Y'all know my story. My mother went to prison when I was six. She stayed until I was 12 and she died when I was 13. And I never knew my father and I had physical abuse. I was hit a lot, punished a lot, grew up around a lot of sustained adversity, trauma in the South Bronx during the 70s and the 80s, okay? But I learned and I'm here. And if the possibility exists for me, of course it exists for you. Now you know what you need to do, so just do that. Do that every day, be consistent with it. And make that your religion. Make self-love, reparenting yourself, 
your religion and your focus and your soul intention. And I guarantee you everything else will start to shift and change, especially your relationships. I love y'all. God bless. That's all I got to say.